everybody. I finally made it back out here to the shop to uh, work a little more on my portable sawmill. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I've even had time to get out here. I've been so busy at work and everything. But anyway, I'm going to try to get uh, a little more done on this. I thought I would show you one last time the, uh, the C-frame that I made. I'm going to take the camera off and try to uh, move it around here so you can see. Uh, but I've got, uh, I've got my blocks here all glued up and done. You can see how by using the seven layers of the plywood, how I've got these little tins. And they will go in here, and they will have to be driven in because they're such a tight fit. And you can see I've already laid out my holes. This goes back, this little uh, mortise here goes back in here about an inch and a half. So I've got my whole uh, spots look, uh, laid out here because once I get this knocked in, I'm going to drill a hole and put a, uh, a wood screw through there which should hold this in nice and securely. I really don't think it's going to go anywhere uh, anyway because these things are so hard to get knocked in there. But uh, anyway, I've got these ready to knock in and this will be the one where I have my uh, shaft on the block where it can be adjustable to adjust the tension. Uh, but anyway, let me take the camera down for the, the tripod there and I'll give you one last look at this uh, C-frame before I start uh, assembling it and then I've got to put some spar urethane on it. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this steady where you can see how this uh, how the C-frame C goes together here. You can see I've got, uh, you know, the seven layers of the oak plywood and you can see how the way I've layered them up it where it uh, forms these uh, mortises here and then again this part uh, we'll simply just go in here and uh, then once it's all in place I'll drill a hole and run a screw through there uh, to hold that in securely. Kind of the same thing on this side. Uh, you know the same same design over here on this side. Got my little uh, mortise and tenon set up here so once I drive that block in and drill those holes and screw that in that should hold it uh, very solid. This, uh, again, seven layers of oak plywood, this thing is really stout, it's probably, uh, probably stiffer than what I'm ever going to need. But... See, I've got, uh, I don't know what you'd call this contraption, just a uh, makeshift uh, motor and pulley here to get this thing to spin so I can sand, uh, sand the crown on there. I'm using my, my block that I made, and it's working pretty good. It's, uh, it's putting a nice crown on there, it's, and I think that uh, that's going to keep that that blade running right down the middle there so I think that's uh, it's gonna work out pretty good okay I put uh, a coat of uh, the spar urethane uh, varnish on here and uh, it's, uh, it's gonna seal it up pretty good I'm gonna work a little bit uh, today on uh, cutting the pieces and notching them for the, uh, the gantry so I'll be setting this thing off my table saw here, uh, so I got room to do that. But then I think uh, towards the end of the day, uh, I'll set this back up here, and I think I'm going to put another coat on it. I've also also got the uh, 
uh, spar uh, varnish on these uh, wheels here, so I think that's going to uh, seal them up pretty good. And uh, you know, try to protect them from the weather as much as possible. This is going to be something I'm not going to be able to leave outside. Uh, it's probably going to end up uh, being pushed in and out of my garage or something uh, when I'm not using it. But uh, anyway, I wanted to put something on to try to protect it a little bit. And, Plus, it makes it look a little nicer, I think, with the uh, almost like a stain on it, so it looks a little better. But anyway, I'm going to get set this down and get started on cutting the pieces for the gantry. Okay, I've got my 2 4 all cut to length here uh, using my chop saw there. Uh, I'm going to uh, clear off the table saw here, and uh, basically, I'm just going to. I like to buy 2 fours and you know they've got they're about three and a half inches wide. They've got the little rounded edge but I like to take the table saw and cut a little bit off of each side and get a, a three inch uh, wide board there that, that that way I have some good uh, mating surfaces there for gluing up get a lot of contact surface so uh, I'm going to clear off the table saw and run these all through to get them down to three inches wide and then I'm going to I've got some drawings here I know you probably can't see this from the, where the camera is but I've got laid out my notches and uh, dados and that kind of thing. So I'm going. It's just going to be. This is going to be a simple, uh, mostly overlap joints. Nothing real fancy. And you know what I'm doing is putting a notch here, and then when I take two of them, glue them together, I create the mortise. So that kind of thing. Nothing real fancy. It's uh, pretty easy to do. Anybody can do it. So uh, that's the next step, and I'm going to get started on these with the table saw. Okay, I finished cutting most of the. Uh, gantry parts on the table saw. Uh, as you can see, I use my table saw to put some of these little notches and flap joints and stuff like that in there. And, and to be quite honest, it takes me forever because my little old cheap table saw does not, does not have an arbor big enough to use a uh, dado blade. So, uh, you know, I just have to lay these out very carefully and take my time. And, uh, you know, I've got like a three inch uh, deal right there, so that's like you know about an eighth of an inch. So you're looking at about 20, 24 passes, something like that. But it could be done. Uh, it just takes me a little longer than somebody who's got a dado blade. But anyway, you can kind of see how this is going to go. I, I haven't glued this up yet. I've just got a clamp to show you. But basically, when I take these pockets and I take two pieces and glue them up, then that creates a a mortise. Uh, and then I take two pieces and glue them up like this, and that'll make it ten inch. So. Uh, kind of an easy way to, to do it, just kind of gluing pieces together. And uh, anyway, so I'm at that point now where I'm going to do some glue up. Uh, so I'm going to glue that up, go grab a sandwich, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I've got my uh, gantry uh, frame pieces all glued up here, got them all clamped up. So I've got to let those set and dry. Uh, I set this back up here and wiped it down. What I'm going to do is uh, I put a, uh, a coat of that spar varnish on it last night and let it dry overnight, but I think I'm going to go ahead and put uh, at least one more coat on there, and I think it'll be good, and also do the uh, sawmill wheels as well. So that's going to wrap it up, I guess, for this. I guess we'll call this uh, part four of the uh, portable sawmill build, and uh, hopefully it's going to start going a little quicker, because now that I get this gantry frame uh, put together, and then I figure out how to mount this on there, and everything should start going a lot quicker provided I get time where I can get out here to the shop so hopefully it won't be as long before the next video but again I'd like to thank all the new subscribers I've had a bunch of uh, new subscribers here in the last couple of months and I really appreciate you taking the time to subscribe and to watch my videos if you like the stuff you're seeing uh, on my YouTube channel please click the like um, like button when you're watching the video and if there's something that you don't like uh, please leave me a comment let me know uh, what you'd like to see me uh, do on here and uh, anyway once again thanks for all the new subscribers and uh, thanks for watching my videos uh, we'll talk to you next time